My name is Russell Floyd, and I'm the president and founder of Z1 Motorsports. In 2000, 2001, Z1 Motorsports was actually called ZS Connection. And ZS Connection sold used 300ZX parts on some of the internet forums, primarily TwinTurbo.net. And um, we, we had a few parts cars that were in my parents' backyard for a while, and then those moved to a, uh, a barn where we eventually started Z1 Motorsports. It was um, really just about selling those parts to customers, um, classified section of internet forums. We, we didn't even have a website yet. Parts customers had started asking us if we could install some of the parts they were uh, that we were selling. Sure, we took off the used alternator. We can put it back on your 93NA 300ZX, no problem. Uh, customers also start asking for some other parts, some Nissan OE parts, asking if we can do their timing belt on their Z32. And naturally, customers start asking us about performance, if we can upgrade their cars, uh, sell them a Grady Cat back exhaust or HKS turbo timer, things like that. Things that were exciting and interesting to us. So we uh, started doing some of that work as well. But we realized that we needed to uh, we needed to build our own cars and build some cars for ourselves. Not just because we needed to for the business, but because it's absolutely what we were into and wanted to do ourselves at the time. In early 2002, I, s I found a convertible 300ZX that I purchased, and it was NA, of course. Uh, I think it had some wheels on it. Uh, nothing special, pretty clean car. Uh, I, I bought that car and I drove it for maybe nearly a year before we decided to actually um, take on a major project with it. And I collected parts through this whole time. I've probably been collecting parts used on Twitter right net classifieds and different places uh, and even coming up with some of our own stuff for probably a couple of years. So we, uh, we tore the car down, sent it to the body shop, stayed there for probably a few months getting the wide body kit on, getting paint. And uh, we decided to try to get this car together for the Nopi show in 2003. And uh, we were on a crazy timeline, but our team came together, uh, John, Robert, um, or existing staff that still was even motorsports. We worked for a week straight, uh, 48 hour uh, days, often no sleep. We put together uh, one of the most impressive Z32s ever built at the time in, in, in basically a week's time, including a lot of fabrication, new parts, those sorts of things. In 2003, when we did the first major build on, on this car, the 350Z had just been released. Uh, prior to that, when we were actually coming up with ideas for this car, there was, uh, there was no other Z. The Z 300ZX Z32 was, was it, and that's what our entire business was built around. And Z1 Motorsports would be built around 300ZX parts and performance almost solely for the next 10 years. And through that time, this car was a major part of that process and development and the marketing of our business. Every few years, we were changing the setup out on this car. We were pushing the limits. We were setting horsepower records. We were breaking things because we were going places that people hadn't been before. We were learning lessons, we were re-engineering, we were designing, we were coming up with new setups, we were, uh, we were setting the bar and learning a lot in the process. But through doing that, we were developing new products, uh, new methods, learning what to do and what not to do. And uh, over time, bringing that stuff to market over probably a 10 year process where this car went through numerous different setups with engine and turbo and 
nitro setups and tuning and, and what have you. Um, it's seen it, it's been through it. Uh, and uh, it that translated down to Zewa Motorsports becoming the premier name in Nissan 3 and ZX performance over, you know, uh, up until this day. About 10 years ago, we, uh, we completely redid the setup with the car. Uh, we have our uh, 300ZX Aki Bono kit from the 370Z on the car. We redid the, uh, the fascia and the hood and many other things, including some things with the powertrain with some new gear turbos and, and uh, quite a few other things. It's just the continual development of our product line. Um, but through the years, it's, it's stayed, for about 10 years now, it's stayed fairly in its current state. And we've moved on to some other 300ZX projects, including our uh, twins uh, 300ZX build with, um, that has, we've used for development of other 300ZX products. We are still in the business of selling 300ZX parts and developing new parts for the 300ZX in a big way. Uh, this car uh, is currently, it, we still use it, we still drive it, we still take it to shows, we enjoy it. It's a great car to drive. Even after all the modifications on this car, extensive modifications throughout many years and many iterations, the car is um, unbelievable to drive. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun, even with the fact that it's capable of making well over a thousand horsepower at the wheels. It's, it's really tame. It's very drivable. Clutch is very manageable. The, uh, the power comes on uh, smooth. Obviously, you can turn the boost controller up or down. Or you can obviously choose not to use the nitrous to make these massive turbos spool up and break traction at 100 miles an hour. That's all, that's all your choice. If you want to go out for leisurely drive in this car, easy to drive as a as a stock manual Sentra. It's not difficult. It's a lot of fun. But the uh, the boost, the boost controller and the uh, the nitrous and those things are just just a few buttons away from unleashing terror that you can be cruising down the road at a at uh, or the track <laughs> at a hundred miles an hour and and shift down to fourth and uh and and lay lay drag is and and burn out <laughs> as long as you would like down uh down the road with this car it's all about uh just going out and uh i mean it's a it's a 90s japanese supercar it's uh purpose built for that time for that era what we were doing doing in those days it's uh you know, things have, you know, trends change, things change, our tastes change. Uh, this car was built for for the time, it's built for what we were interested in, it's built for what we loved, and it uh, uh, it accomplished that, and uh, still, still a ton of fun, and love to drive it, so. <laughs>